Hi, my name is Barnaby and I'm a guitar maker and repairer and occasional player living here in Tokyo. And I've become very, very interested recently in some guitars made by a company called Harley Benton. Harley Benton is a budget guitar brand distributed by Thoman in Germany. And the guitar that I'm interested in is called the Fusion 3. Um, I'm particularly interested in their HSH, which is humbucker, single coil humbucker uh, versions with a standard tremolo bridge and a roasted maple neck and fingerboard because I think those just might be the single best budget guitar for the money on the market today. So um, through various uh, ways and means I've wound up with three of these things and so I've got one in Bengal burst, one with a plain top and one with a trans purple top and they are really very very good instruments. The one with the Bengal burst I've already modded and I put very high quality parts on that. The one with the plain top I'm currently modding, I'm doing some interesting things to it and that will be covered in another video and the one in with the trans purple top I'm actually just going to keep stock so I've got a basis of comparison between the three guitars. Now the guitars come with reasonable quality parts and they also come with uh, pickups made by a company called Roswell. These are Roswell pickups. These pickups are actually pretty good, I have to say. Um, they sound a little bit ice picky, but um, I really do quite like them for what they are. You know, they're, they're quite adequate pickups. Um, Changing pickups is one of the easiest mods to do to your guitar, um, and so a lot of people have been changing these out. But, of course, as I said, I'm keeping one of these guitars stock. But I thought today what I'd do is actually have a bit of a look at these Roswell pickups and maybe try out my own mod to these. So rather than just put the pickups in a drawer or you know sell them on an auction site or something, I might take these apart and do something interesting to them. So, these are the Roswell pickups. One I've already taken apart, but let's have a look at this one. This is the neck pickup. And I want to say, first of all, that these are really quite well put together. So if we start out by having a look, we can see it's got some of this uh, fabric tape, which is a traditional look for pickups. But underneath it, there's a, uh, plastic tape or vinyl tape and that's a much much better idea frankly for pickups. Now we have a red lead and a black lead coming out of each bobbin and let's take off this little piece of rubber with springs in it from the bottom which is used to set the pickup height in the cavity and we can then remove our base plate screws which are good quality brass. As we do this, we can see the wax, always a great sign. Not too much wax, but these have clearly been professionally potted. Now, if we take that apart, we can see a, um, a magnet in here. I think that's an Alnico 5. And then we've got our slug side and our screw side bobbins. Can we get this apart? There we go. When we have a look at our coil, this is the side I will be removing. Let's find out which way round it goes. Inner coil is red, outer coil is black. And to get our wiring right, this one, our inner coil on the slug side leads to the white lead. Our outer coil on the slug side leads to the black lead. For our screw side, the inner coil leads to the red lead. The outer coil leads to the green lead. Now, let's remove this, which is pretty straightforward. We simply put it under a little tiny bit of tension and we just touch it with the soldering iron. And it should just pop apart like that. Okay, just a little bit of tension. We don't want to break anything. Right, now let's measure our coils. Our neck pickup, slug side, 4.29. The screw side, 4.27. Very closely matched. 
impressive. When we look at our bridge pickup, screw side 4.29 and slug side ah, 4.35. So yes, they're all very, very closely matched. Now, I'm gonna have a slight mismatch in the coil I put here, which will be this one into the neck pickup. The coil that I put in will be 3.83. So this will have a very slightly different feel to it. There'll be a little bit of a mismatch, but for this pickup, I'm going to put in a coil which is much more heavily wound. 6.32 or almost, you know, half as much again. And I'm really curious about what that will do to the sound. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is attach the inner lead to the inner lead here. So the inner lead for me is actually black and that will be attached to the white here, confusingly. Okay, that should now mean that at this end, if I test the black and I test the white leads, I should get my coil. And indeed I do. The other coil is connected. Great. So now this is all connected up and all I have to do is reassemble the pickup. Now as this is a neck pickup and I want a slightly warmer sound, I think I'm going to go with a rough cast Alnico 2 magnet. So this is an Alnico 2, and we put it in the same orientation as the previous magnet. Comes in here, and then everything can just get tucked away. Okay, so when we reassemble the pickup, we wind up with basically the same configuration. Everything packs away very neatly. As I said before, these are very well-made pickups. They're very well done, very professional. I mean, you'd expect that, of course, from a professional pickup company. So now that's reassembled. That's the Roswell coil, and that's the coil that I've wound. And we simply put in our brass screws again. And we can take tape that was on the pickup before. This is something you often see with people who reassemble vintage pickups is they'll take the original tape and put it back on the pickup. The only thing left to do now is pot, then put back on the original tape. Okay, with that one done, let's turn our attention to the bridge. And here, again, we have to attach the white lead to the black, the black lead to the white. So. Okay, now with that in place, let's just check that all our coils work. So, testing coil one. Fine. Testing coil two. Fine. Testing the two coils together. Oh yeah. 10.58, nice. Okay, so now again, we seal these up with tape and we reassemble the pickup. And following that, we are ready for some potting. So I pot my pickups in a mix of paraffin and beeswax. I usually go for a 70% paraffin, 30% beeswax mix. 
um, and I pop them in a well ventilated area using a double boiler system and I always keep a fire extinguisher handy and never leave them unattended. It's just important to be safe with this sort of thing. So here we are. These are the pickups now after modification. They've been turned into Zebra pickups. So they've got the original Roswell coils here. Um, this one had Roswell on it, but it kind of rubbed off while I was working on it. So, oh well. Um, and then they've got my own hand wound coils here. Um, the bridge pickup is quite mismatched, whereas the neck pickup is more closely matched, but I think they will sound different and more kind of raw and organic. Um, I might also have lost some of the ice pickiness that I didn't really like in the Roswell sound. That being said, the Roswell pickups as they came from the factory were excellent. Good materials, well wound, properly assembled. They weren't like the sort of cheap pickups you find in budget guitars a lot of the time with horrible brass base plates and ceramic magnets or anything. They were good pickups. Um, I don't know if I've actually improved them all I know for sure is that I've done something to them which will mean they sound a little bit different. And of course, being zebra pickups now, they also look different. Here's a little pickup winders trick that um, you can do if you don't want to install pickups in a guitar but you still want to check that they work. I've got a little box with a lead that plugs in and I can connect the wires to it. You can just do this more or less by hand but uh, this makes it more convenient. So all you do is you connect your pickup up to this, plug it into an amp, then take a guitar that's unplugged, strum it, and that shows that our neck pickup works just fine. Now we can do the same with our bridge pickup. Nice. So that's it. Two modified pickups ready to go.